Let me show you some of the reasons why you should consider sending your raw file to Topaz Photo AI when applying noise reduction. So I have this photo of a snowy egret here taken by our friend Matt Kleskowski, and you can see that he used an ISO of 1250, which is pretty high, and you can see that when you zoom in uh, all of that noise. So normally when we're zoomed out, you don't even see noise here because we're zoomed out, but more often than not, we would crop in because we want to get a tighter composition to share. And here's where noise is very apparent. Now, the benefit of sending a raw file as opposed to say a JPEG or a TIFF even is Topaz Photo AI will actually use the sensor data from the raw file to apply even higher quality noise reduction. Now, you can either take your raw file from your finder or your explorer and drag it onto the application Topaz Photo AI. In this case here, I'm already in Adobe Lightroom Classic. So I'm going to go to file plug in extras, and then select process with Topaz Photo AI. Now here in Topaz Photo AI, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, zoom in and change to a split screen view just so that we can get a really close shot. Looking at autopilot, you can see that we've identified the raw image data and it's applying uh, noise reduction specifically to this raw file. Now, if we zoom out a little bit, you can see that we're still retaining a lot of that information, all of the edge details, but you can also go ahead and customize this to taste. So as far as the strength of the noise reduction, we're good. You can see from here to here, all of that noise is gone and we can just go back to Lightroom. But let's say you wanna add a little bit more detail. We do have this detail slider here, which you can increase and that adds just a little bit more uh, edge detail uh, to the image. So here, if you want, you can adjust this to taste or if you wanna go back to the original autopilot settings, you can just click on this button here. But now that we're done, all I have to do is click on save to Adobe Lightroom Classic plugin. This will save the file back and it's gonna save it back as a DNG. So you can resume your raw editing workflow with Adobe's DNG file format. Now that we're back in Lightroom, this is our original raw file. Here is the DNG file. Let's go ahead and compare them. And if we zoom in, you can see just how much cleaner the version from Topaz Photo AI is. And what's more important is that we're retaining all of that edge detail. We didn't soften any of it. Even if we go over here, you can see we still have these water droplets falling off of the egret's feet. And that is why it's beneficial to use a raw file when possible to get the highest possible quality noise reduction results using Topaz Photo AI.